Now, a newsreader who opened up online about coming to terms with his hearing loss has received thousands of messages of support. Lewis Warren Jones unexpectedly lost the hearing in his left ear earlier this year. Yesterday, he shared his condition with the world and wore his hearing aid on screen for the first time while anchoring BBC World News. And he joins us now from our London newsroom. Very good morning to you. Uh, good do you morning. want to just first of all explain to people the, the condition and what happened? Yeah, it's called sudden hearing loss. I didn't know anything about it. I'd had no, pretty normal hearing my whole life. And then a couple of months ago, I've got a bit of a cold, um, couldn't hear in my left ear. And then when I got it checked out and they said, yep, your eardrum has stopped moving, stopped working. But on top of that, uh, the brain, the neuron, the nerve that takes your, the sound into your brain has decided to pretty much give up as well. Um, so I walked out of the hospital then saying, your hearing in your left ear is pretty, pretty much gone. It's gone forever. It's permanent. We can't fix it. And the tinnitus that you're hearing uh, is there forever as well. And uh, this was just a couple of months ago. Um, and the tinnitus, uh, that I, in my case, it's a kind of high tone. It's like, ee, which I won't do for any longer because I know how annoying it is. Um, but that's what I have to live with. And I walked out of hospital completely bamboozled in a bit of shock a couple of months ago because they said, that's it. And, well, I mean, how is it? So, as we're talking now, and obviously, you and I, as uh, the role we perform, people who are aware, you, you have uh, a, a device in your ear anyway to hear the director and hear what's going on, in this case, to hear me. So, how does that work in relation to how you do your job? Well, that's right. I discovered yesterday for the first time. So, uh, my earpiece, which I'm listening to you, uh, Charlie, and the director, and everyone is in my right ear. And I have my hearing aid, which is there, just behind my ear as well, in my left ear. And when you first wear a hearing aid, um, it's really loud, obviously. I can hear my own voice really loud back at me. So, sitting, uh, reading the news on BBC World yesterday, I could hear the director and the programme and all my guests in this ear. And then in my left ear, I could hear my own voice back really loud. It's really distorted, kind of electronic breakup because that's what happens, and the tinnitus as well in my left ear. So it was <laughs> crowded and loud uh, yesterday, but thankfully it was okay. Well, yeah, you say okay. I mean, uh, is I'm not sure if anyone's sort of been through this process the way you're doing, so almost publicly and uh, on television. I, I'm assuming that you, your your hearing maybe will adapt to a degree, will it, or, or you'll be just. Maybe your brain will be e find it easier to cope with all the stuff that you just described. You're absolutely right. Apparently, the brain is brilliant and learns to essentially li uh, listen less to its own voice, listen less to the distortion, and kind of dampen it down. And I'm told this takes six, eight weeks or so. I'm just hoping uh, that my brain is up to it and can do it because the hearing aid has made a huge difference. I can hear significantly more. But um, obviously, if it stays like this with all the distortion and everything, I don't think I could, I could wear it every day. But I'm told that the brain learns how to, learns how to adapt. Yeah, and Lewis, you'll be aware, because I know you've had a lot of uh, people getting in touch with you since you went public with all this. I mean, hearing is, is, is it really marginalises people, doesn't it? When people have hearing loss, even if it's a small hearing loss or, or to a de greater degree, it can really um, cause them problems in social situations. You can feel yeah. marginalised very quickly, can't you? Oh, it's so frustrating. I'm, of course, getting used to it all. But yes, if you're anyone standing on my left, I can't hear them properly. Even small groups, five or six, I'm missing what's going on. And there's only so many times you can interrupt and say, sorry, I missed you, sorry, I can't hear you. You, can't, you don't feel like you can keep doing that. You feel embarrassed, so you withdraw. And you feel embarrassed then when you wear the hearing aid, self-conscious about it. And obviously, I had the thought that, oh, God, I might not be able to actually do my job ever, work again. Um, and then on top of that, the, the tinnitus, I remember the first night getting home and just lying in bed with this, this noise in my ear. I was just thinking, I can't live with this. I can't carry on if, if this is in my brain every day. So all these things kind of hit you at a rush, and, and it's about trying to manage them and normalise them. And that's why I wanted yesterday. I wasn't expecting any reaction at all, really, but I really wanted to just show everyone that yeah, I'm wearing a hearing aid on air. It's, it's hard, but it's working, and it's making a difference. And that's why I wanted to share it yesterday. Uh, Lewis, uh, thank you very much for taking us through the story. Good to speak to you this morning. And uh, thanks to Ray as well, who's been signing for us here in the studio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now you're watching Breakfast from BBC News.